Hello from Eastern CCTV. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up accounts and create user rights. We're going to go ahead and go into settings and then click on account and authority. From here, we have our existing users. As you can see, we have an admin account and a guest account. So we're going to go ahead and create a new account by clicking on the plus arrow at the top right hand corner. Here we can enter the username of the account. In this case, we're going to make this a store manager account. Next, we're going to enter the password. Then we're going to confirm the password. We can check mark the display password option just to verify that they're correct. We also have an option to list their email address. And the most important part is going to be the group. The group will define what rights they have to perform on the system. So for the manager account, we're going to make it an ordinary user. We can also bind it to a MAC address. So if we find out what the MAC address to the person's computer is, we can actually make it so that user can only log in through a certain computer. And lastly, we have the remark option. So we're going to go ahead and put the manager's name, Steve. Next, we're going to click on add. And now we have our third user. We're going to go ahead and click on the edit permission group option to see what rights he has as a user. So from here, since he's an ordinary user, we're going to click on ordinary. As you can see, he only has audio talk and he can only view camera three locally. He doesn't have any remote rights as you can see from here. He cannot preview, playback, backup, or PTZ control. So we're going to go ahead and change that because we do want him to be able to log in remotely and view the cameras. As you can see, we have various options on what rights he has to perform on the system. In this case, the only one that we want to enable for him is going to be remote login. And locally, we're going to leave it so he can preview. We're also going to change it so he can play back video. As well as backup. PTZ control, we're going to leave off. We're going to go ahead and click on remote since that was local. And we're going to go ahead and let him preview and do playback remotely as well. As well as backup. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now Steve is an ordinary user, but he's going to have more rights. He can now remotely log in and he can remotely view camera three. He can play back camera three and he can back up camera three. We also increase his rights on the local option so that he can play back and back up camera three as well as preview. This video was on account creation and modifying permission groups for the Titanium Series DVRs. Thank you for watching.